Here are 10 essential settings that every iPad owner needs to know about. And we're gonna start right away with request desktop website. You can find this option in the Safari menu on your settings app. And basically what it allows you to do is visit the desktop version of websites when you're browsing in Safari. That's great because if you're on a 12.9 inch iPad Pro display, you really don't want to be on the smartphone version of a website, especially if that is part of Google Suite. We've spoken in the past about just how poorly G Suite apps like Google Sheets perform on the iPad. So if you wanna get around that, the best thing to do is work in Safari and request the desktop website. The next two settings are both found in the display and brightness menu. As beautiful as iPad screens are these days, they do get very bright and the kind of light they emit can prevent us from going to sleep. That's one of the reasons that dark mode has become so popular. The ability to invert blacks and whites for a relaxed bit of nighttime reading is a brilliant feature and you can automate it by setting dark mode to trigger on sunset. You wanna take this a step further, you can also schedule night shift to do the same. That's gonna bring your iPad adds color temperature down to the warmer end of the spectrum so your brain doesn't think it's daylight and you can get a little bit better sleep. Next up is a feature that's found in the keyboard section of the general settings menu and that's the ability to add multiple keyboards. So if you're multilingual or just learning a new language, you can easily cycle through all of them, including emojis at the tap of a thumb. And while we're talking about productivity, you should check out the auto convert to tag feature in your notes settings. You can use tags in iOS 15 to group all notes that belong to a certain topic. If you want to create a new tag with minimal fuss, all you need to do is make sure this setting is turned on and use a hashtag with the name of the tag you want to create. You can then create smart folders which will automatically group together all notes containing a certain tag, which is great for organizing quick notes in a pinch. If you have headphones that support spatial audio, it's really easy to overlook this feature, but definitely one that you wanna try out. If you don't know, spatial audio is a 360 degree audio format that gives you a a more immersive experience when you're watching movies or listening to music. But it's not a feature that's gonna switch itself on automatically. So if you wanna check it out, long press on the audio widget in your control center and you'll find a couple of options to switch between spatial audio and normal stereo sound. The next two settings are arguably the most important settings to learn because they're all about your privacy. If you're on the latest version of iOS, you might have noticed more and more pop-ups before you open new apps asking whether you're okay to be tracked. That's because Apple is now forcing developers to get explicit consent before tracking your usage of their apps. That includes any use of third-party software such as the Facebook SDK, which might be used to target you around the web on other devices as well. Some people like to decide this on an app-by-app -app basis, and that's completely fine. But if you do want to block all apps from even asking in the first place, just go to the privacy settings of your app and select do not allow apps to request tracking. Additionally, you can prevent Apple from personalizing ads on your device, and that's in places like the App Store or even Apple News and Apple Stocks by deselecting this feature in the same settings menu. Another way that many apps drive you to spend even more time on them is via notifications. And personally, I've switched off all notifications on my iPhone and my iPad because I just don't like to be distracted. If that's a little too hardcore for you, there is an option to schedule a summary of notifications at a time of the day that suits you. So you're in control, but still informed. Maybe you're a little bit more hardcore though, I don't know. And if that is you, then you definitely wanna check out focus mode, which is a brilliant new feature that's been added in iOS 15 that allows you to set up multiple do not disturb profiles so that you can tailor your app experience to the time of day that you're using it. I've got another video Video coming out very soon on focus mode so if you don't want to miss that then please do hit that subscribe button and I'm gonna leave a video up here too to keep you entertained in the meanwhile